friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Retro Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Nengi and I'm an Abish Enthusiast. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about switched reverse current relay. So let us start. Switched reverse current relay. Friends, before we start, let me tell you that this switched reverse current relay is used in small types of aircraft which are having DC generating systems. In my previous session, friends, I have discussed about reverse current cutout operation. How is this switched reverse current relay different from the reverse current cutout? Okay, so in this, it is different in the way that it has got a switching facility. I mean to say, you can switch the generator to the main bus bar by using a switch okay and also like whenever there will be reverse current at that point of time also because of the opening of the contacts the generator will be disconnected from the main bus bars so whenever a reverse current flows okay so let us start the topic to learn more about the switched reverse current relay suppose this is a generator friends okay this is its ground terminal This is the positive terminal of the generator. Okay, it is going like this. And you know, that friends, in the generator we have considered shunt generator. Okay, because shunt DC generator is the best generator to be used in aircraft. Okay, so this is the winding which I am showing you. This is the shunt winding. Okay, so this is the shunt winding of the generator. We generate this friends shunt generator. Now. This shunt winding, okay, which is the field winding of the generator, is connected to obviously voltage regulator. So this is the voltage regulator circuit and the output terminal. So this output terminal of the generator is connected to this voltage regulator. Remember that friends, voltage regulator is also grounded, so I am drawing a ground connection for the voltage regulator as well. So whatever output comes from here, the generator output is given to the regulator and then it goes to the generator. Now how is the relay connected in this circuit or how is the switched reverse current relay connected? So for this, the output of the generator is taken like this okay? and in this output, we take connections in two directions. Okay, All these are wires or conductive wires. So from here, the current goes to a coil of a relay okay which is called as the voltage coil okay and this coil it is grounded so now when this current output current is going to this coil okay this coil will get energized and when this gets gets energized it is connected to a contact here this contact this contact is called as the filer contact okay. and it is connected to this path so that when this contact closes whatever current is there it will follow this path and by means of this path current can go ahead and this is connected to another coil which is called as the contactor coil okay so this contactor coil It is also connected to some contacts which I'll draw. This is the dotted line. So contacts are suppose this is one of the contact and this is another contact. So these are the two contact points which are connected to the circuit. So if this coil is energized. So both of these contacts will close means this will come here this will come here and also i tell you friends how are these contacts connected in the circuit so let me complete the circuit so when this voltage coil gets energized this contact will close so then this is connected to a circuit which is coming like this and it is connected to a switch which is called as the generator switch so 
suppose this is the generator switch which is there in the cockpit generator switch what is the name of this coil contactor coil okay and this contact name is main contact and the name of this contact is auxiliary contact okay friends now how is this generator circuit over here i'll come to these contact points again after some time let me complete this part first so this contact is connected to okay this output terminal of the generator okay which is going to the regulator this same is connected to the terminal this one okay so this point is connected to this output terminal now let's come back to this circuit so in this circuit this contact it is connected like this and this also is connected and this contact is also connected to this contact means both these contact points are connected together okay and these two contact points are connected here and what we have here is friends a coil okay and this coil is connected to this part like this okay so this coil and this coil are on the same core okay and this is another core in which this coil is joined there is a contactor coil so both these contacts if this is closing are connected to main bus bar main bus bar and batteries okay so this current flow is going to the main bus bar and batteries so now friends i hope you have got some basic idea about the diagram so this hole is your relay which i am drawing in this dotted line this is your switched reverse current relay okay so this dotted line which i have drawn okay in the shape of like a square it is enclosing the relay coils and the contacts so this relay has got pilot contacts and it has got auxiliary and main contact and the coils which are there in the relay are we have a coil which is called as a current coil so this coil is called as the current coil and this coil is called as the voltage coil and the other coil which we have on another core is contactor coil okay so friends i hope you have got how is the switch relay now let us understand how does this system work in this okay so suppose the engine is running so when the engine is running obviously the generator also will be running when generator is running suppose that in the cockpit this switch is closed like this okay this is closed now what happens when the generator will be running at the regulated voltage level means when the generator is developing 28 volt plus minus its tolerance okay within its tolerance then at that point of time whatever current would be flowing in this path okay like this it will go to this coil and also to this coil so let's take the case of voltage coil first the current which goes to this voltage coil will energize it okay why does it energize because this coil is having a grounding path okay so this gets energized this current coil will not energize as of now so this voltage coil gets energized when this voltage coil gets energized this pilot contact will close when this contact will close like this what will happen is now whatever output of the generator is there it will be routed like this and it will be going via the generator switch by means of this path okay and by means of this path via the contactor coil it will be getting the grounding path that means the generator switch and the contactor coil are getting the grounding path now okay so now as this contactor coil is getting the grounding path this also will get energized when this gets energized friends what happens is this main contact will close and also this contact will close So when these two contact close, what will happen now? Whatever current is coming, like the output current of the generator is coming, it will go to this current coil, and from the current coil, by means of this main and auxiliary contact, the current will be given to the main bus bar. Hence, the moral of the story: to the main bus bar and batteries, current is given by the auxiliary and main contacts. As you can see here, this arrow is pointing towards them. Okay, and the main and auxiliary contacts are getting the current from this current coil. Okay. which is 
carrying the output current of the generator okay hence in normal situations or when the generator voltage is at the regulated level the output goes to the main bus bar and battery via the current coil and then to this in this situation friends when the current is going to the main bus bar and battery at the regulated voltage level of the generator what happens is the current coil is producing a magnetic field right or having a magnetic effect that magnetic effect which is there on the core it will assist the magnetic effect of the voltage coil and because of this this pallet contact will be firmly held closed so this is what happens in normal situation now it's suppose you are shutting down the engine that means the generator is also being shut down so when the generator is being shut down the voltage of the generator the voltage of the generator will start reducing right and if we compare it with the battery voltage which is here this one battery which i have written the battery voltage will be more i'm drawing an upward arrow to show you that the battery voltage will be more at some part of time when the generator is in a shutdown state so what we can see here the battery voltage will be higher than the generator voltage at some point of time when the generator is shutting down so in this scenario what will happen is the current from this end on the battery will start going towards the generator okay that is your reverse current i'm using blue ink to show you the reverse current like this so this blue ink right now is showing you the reverse current so the moment this reverse current come from the battery okay via these contacts it will go to the current coil so when it goes to the current coil now the current coil will be magnetized again but now right now whatever magnetization have taken place in the current coil because of the current flowing through it which is the reverse current that magnetization will oppose the magnetization of the voltage coil i mean to say the magnetic effect of the current coil opposes the magnetic effect of the voltage coil because of this this pallet contact will open okay so when this contact opens this contactor coil will deenergize okay because it will not be getting the grounding path and when this contactor coil gets deenergized the auxiliary and main contact will again open okay hence the reverse current flow will not happen and this is how the cutout takes place here so hence the battery current cannot go to the generator end because of the opening of the main and auxiliary contact it's all because of the reverse current so the reverse current while these contacts were in the closed state the reverse current had passed through this current coil and when it was passing through this current coil it had created a magnetic effect which had opposed the magnetic effect of the voltage coil because of which this pallet contact has opened and hence this led to the deenergization of the contactor coil and the auxiliary contact to be opened hence reverse current flow has been cut off because of the opening of these two contacts okay so friends it's very simple and that's how the reverse current flow is cut off in this circuit friends let me quickly summarize what we have discussed in today's session we have discussed about the switched reverse current relay wherein we discussed that the switched reverse current relay is used in dc generating systems of small type of aircraft in some small type of aircraft it is still being used and how is it different from the reverse current cutout operation which i had discussed in my previous session is in this circuit you have the switching facility like generator switches installed if you switch off the generator the reverse current can also be cut off okay so you have a switching facility over here and also like we discussed in the reverse current cutout operation which was discussed in the previous session the reverse current can also cut off when the reverse current flows through the system relay by cutting off the or by opening the main and auxiliary contacts okay that's how the reverse current is cut off next what else we have discussed when we have discussed two cases first case was about when the generator is running and it is having its voltage at the regulated level and the other case was when the engine is shut down and because of which the generator is being shut down the generator voltage is reduced so let us discuss about the first case in the first case like when the generator is running and is developing a voltage to the normal level or regulated level so what happens is whatever current is coming from the generator it goes into the current coil and the voltage coil when the current goes in the current coil it, it waits here so current coil does not get energized in the case but whatever output is coming when the generator is at the regulated level that output goes to the voltage coil voltage coil gets energized okay energized and has a magnetic effect that magnetic effect causes this pallet contact to close when this closes if generator switch is close the cockpit okay we have considered that so what happens the output from here okay from the output of the generator the output from here goes by means of this path okay via the generator switch and the contactor coil 
and this close contact of the parent contact the current gets the grounding path i mean to say the generator and contactor coil gets the grounding path now when the contactor gets the grounding path it closes these two contacts main contact and auxiliary contact so at this point of time when this closes the sub the current whatever is coming the output current uh, of the generator by means of this current coil now passes by means of main contact and auxiliary contact which are close to the main bus bar and batteries and that's how the circuit is completed okay hence the current coil also gets energized okay, and because of which it produces a magnetic effect and that magnetic effect it adds or assists the magnetic effect of the voltage coil because of which this pilot contact is held firmly closed okay and the system is in normal operation now if suppose you are shutting down the engine so when you are shutting down the engine the voltage the generator also will start shutting down because of which the voltage of the generator will be low and if you see the battery the battery will be having a higher voltage at some point of time okay i'm going to say at some point of time battery voltage will be greater than the generator voltage so of course the reverse current would flow now from battery end to the generator end means in this direction from right side to the left side as per this diagram okay so what will happen in this case is the moment reverse current flow this blue color arrow is showing you the flow of reverse current so when the reverse current flows through these two auxiliary and main contact that reverse current has to pass by means of this current coil so the moment the current flows through this current coil okay in this current coil the magnetic effect will be in opposite direction now that means this reverse current will magnetize the current coil and the magnetic effect now will oppose the magnetic effect of the voltage coil the moment this happens this part contact will immediately open and when this opens the contactor coil will be de-energized when this gets de-energized both the main contact and auxiliary contact will open because of this the reverse current will be cut off from going this end okay so friends that was about the reverse current being cut off in the circuit in this box which i have drawn in dotted line this is your relay re switched reverse current relay okay so switch reverse current relay has got this contact and these contacts and the coils okay so friends i hope you have understood today's topic and i hope you have enjoyed learning this session as well as like my other sessions i'll come up again with a new topic in my next session till then you enjoy learning this topic and thank you